In any case, uh, Solid Hero at the moment, I don't like Invoker that much overall. It was Laurel. It was Laurel, okay. Yeah. If yeah. the LSA was just a little bit later, they managed to take that one bounty, but all four bounties going Tundra's way. Look, losing three bounties isn't that big of a deal, but four... It, it stings, you know, like you get quite of an advantage on all your heroes. You start the lane, let's say, without angles. You're thinking, okay, sure, I'm gonna buy this set. And then you get into the lane and you can't buy them. It's just the little things that end up getting stopped by losing all four, right? I mean, it's not so little. Like, your lane becomes much, much harder because of that. Losing all four runes isn't something that should happen. White Mon. Working with those drinking buddies and... On his courier coming over, salvinists and a sentry. Yeah, the, this is, I feel like, a kill lane on both sides. If you're out of position with snap, like you can fall. Same goes for uh, Runa and Tusk. Like you, you do dish out a ton of damage. Bot lane, I feel like look, it's Lina Treant. Look, Lina is like we've seen what they did to her last game. We'll see if they can repeat that. Put some early damage on to JT as well as Bovica using the drinking buddies. Going into the Lucent Beam afterwards. Bottom lane, there should become a point where Ramses is just free to farm here, right? I'm not sure. Lina and Triant are scary for me, but uh, this is a really good thing that they did. They cut down all the trees on the left side. Lane, JT. Spear to survive, but the shards were well placed. Again, a little bit of aggression coming out from Tundra, not getting them the kill. I just have to say, I'm happy to see a lane such as this one, because we've seen so many Kunka Tinker lanes today and just a few resident sleeper lanes. This one is just constant fighting. White Mon, he's got shards again. Yeah, I might want to go and then pull over with the drinking buddies if they do find the right opportunity. And honestly, level three, when you've got the, the trio of combo there, as there's the drinking buddies there, the shards, good cookie. But JT's still going to die here to pure. And they, Tundra's got first blood. They just had a lot of stick charges. Wand on the Luna, a lot of sticks on Whiteman. They just never had a chance of fighting them there. Yeah, stick on Snapfire, not really doing much. It's a really good stick lane, like you're playing into Luna, but it wasn't enough. When it comes to mid lane and CS, Thompson, four CS behind, not the end of the world, a little bit behind the storm, but doing all right on the Invoker. What I do want to see is just how much he'll be able to accomplish as this uh, Invoker in the mid game. So. The, the bounty runes are the start, the wisdom runes here, uh, and now they're going to bring the storm over. He is level 6, he does that ball aiding, he has a couple sips in that bottle. They're trying to get at least something out of this. There's the cookie, and the shards will actually block out JT and Bobica, and I think that'll most likely mean that nothing to say doesn't go for a second kill. However, Topson's come over and got a tower out of this. They didn't really have any matter to work with there. They might even go here. They have DD on Invoker. Tornado lands, trying to kooky up onto the high ground. Bobica will do so, but the shards are there to get the vision for the snowball, <laughs> all and now they're all them. locked up at the top, but all three come over. Uh, Thompson is thinking about going into tower range. Like, he's going mid. Nothing to say. Doesn't really have a lot of mana to work with. Uh, a storm is brewing. Like, once they get a singular item on Ramses, they'll be able to completely control the map, it feels like. Yeah. And Ramses is going for that aura build on... Uh, the Sand King, no Bloodstone, Shiva's nothing like that. He's going straight for the pipe. But uh, if the Tusk is following him, then it's a bit easier. What G2IG need, though, is Boboka's level 6. I think that's, like, the main thing they need to get right now. Yeah. It completely activates their draft. So with... Oh, what was that? Alacrity and Drinking Buddies. I want to see next time what the damage is for Topson. Pure not afraid to even make the rotation here either. Yeah. Hopefully they'll manage to shake this off and get it somewhere. Ex Nova down bottom. He did manage to get his ultimate at least. 
but like the, the thing is i don't find it nearly as impactful this game as uh, i find mortimer's kisses because they're just lacking damage they're seriously lacking it maybe if they bring both lena Lina? growth strike overgrowth and there's the Laguna Blade on to Ramses, but they've got that pipe. They'll go to the Walrus Punch, and they will be able to kill this Lena. The arena's down, but it's just too late. The ball lightning in, and they just don't do the damage at the moment. Good God's rebuke, but the Eclipse comes through from Pure. They'll get themselves a second. They'll look towards the rest. The chase is on to catch one more. X Nova on the run throws out that leech seed. They do have shards, which will get in front of X Nova. It's an alley oop from the cookie to the punch, and a kill for Pure as he's now unstoppable. They also get themselves that storm as they chase nothing to say all the way down and Topson will get the finishing blow. This was under your tier two, by the way, that they fought and it was still impossible for them to take the fight. Not a singular kill. Invoker is just doing massive amounts of work in that engagement. Ramses as well. All he needed to do honestly here is pop the pipe and that's it. His, uh, his job is done. Meanwhile, on the other side, just not enough boboka only hits his level six now maybe if you had mortimer's kisses in this fight maybe then you can take it but without it it was just forced certainly rough that it just that fight completely one-sided and this smoke again like they're really trying to make something oh, happen no. but white mon imbiz another power rune that benefits them He's pretty tanky, but he ain't tanky enough. White Mon, though, breaking that smoke, he's happy because Pure was sitting up there top. They go through the jungle, maybe they get the kill on the Luna, and things start to go IG's way. Sand King, though, he is TPing in. He's got Vanguard, by the way, going for that Crimson with the pipe. He's a really difficult kill to make, but maybe doable. Mortimer's kisses. And he is still alive thanks to the disruption. They've got the arena down, pure off to the side. The damage on the JT, the Lucy Beam's gonna be there. They'll get themselves at least one. They're gonna look over at Monet. Cookie in. All right. Well, that's gonna cost Monet his life. They'll go to the Eclipse. They'll look over at Bobica. They'll at least get another one with that. And they call GG. They tap out 15 minutes in, and Tundra will take the 2 0 and the tiebreaker over G2 IG. Are you called one game shellacking today? That wasn't it. This was it. This is just rough. And you could see it like Tundra. They outplay them in the laning stage. All the rotations, the rune control were on point. Topson got every single one. And this game, it was wonderful.